Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, took a romantic break from their whirlwind tour in the Caribbean to enjoy together the beautiful Sea of Barbados with nothing but floral trunks and a swimsuit. The Prince of Wales and the Duchess were spotted cozying up on a beach of beautiful Barbados. The royal couple looked relaxed and playful as they were dipping in the calm Caribbean Sea, with Prince Charles confidently swimming in deep waters while Camilla remained closer to the shore. And to better enter into the Caribbean spirit, Prince Charles, 70, chose to show off his trim frame wearing colorful floral trunks. On the other side, 71-year-old Camilla looked demure as she wore an aqua blue one-piece swimsuit. Following their well-deserved break, the pair returned together to the beach, where they were handed striped beach towels. Charles and Camilla will remain in Barbados only for one day, but the royal diary shows it will be packed with engagements. Their day will start in Bridgetown, the capital city of the small Caribbean nation, where they will lay a wreath at the Cenotaph. Prince Charles will then head to the oldest synagogue in the Western Hemisphere, a touching visit to be followed by a demonstration of the island's hurricane preparedness. The heir to the throne will also learn about the local work done by the Prince's Trust International. On the other hand, Camilla will carry out by herself another handful of engagements, including attending an event organized by Barbadian women of influence, before joining the Prince for a meeting in reception at the Prime Minister's office. The Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall landed in the Caribbean island of St. Lucia on Monday. Their 12-day tour is particularly important to Prince Charles, as he gears up to become the next head of Commonwealth after being appointed as the successor of the current Commonwealth leader, Queen Elizabeth II, in 2018. And Charles was quick to point out the importance of the 53-member association in his speech at the reception taking place on his first night in the Caribbean. Speaking to an array of guests, including St. Lucia's Prime Minister Alan Chastanet, Governor General Sir Emmanuel Neville Senec and British High Commissioner Steve McCready, Prince Charles said, The Commonwealth has been a cornerstone of my life for as long as I can remember and, through all the unprecedented global challenge of these past seven decades, it seems to me that the Commonwealth remains as vital today as it has ever been. Importantly, the Commonwealth brings us together and gives us the means to harness shared opportunities, as well as to address common challenges. There is no greater challenge facing all of us, in my view, than that of global warming and climate change which, I know, poses nothing short of an existential threat to this island as it does to every part of this region. During their tour, Charles and Camilla will also visit Cuba, marking the first ever royal visit to the state. The arrival to Cuba of the royal couple is seen as a positive and politically charged event by many residents on the island. Havana resident Suri Larena, 70, said, This is an acknowledgement not only of Cuba's people, but also of the government, and tells the United States we are not that isolated, 